Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in to today's video. You may be a bit surprised by the title of this video, Summer Next Week, because it does look as though uh, we could well be uh, getting rid of the very unsettled and cool weather that we've been having in recent weeks and replacing it with much more uh, summery weather as high pressure begins to take over and we start to get an increase in the temperatures as well. We could really start to see some very nice weather if you want summery weather next week. Well, this is the... Uh, 500 bit of our high dominant charts. I use these a lot for these videos, as you know. And uh, really, what these are showing is uh, the uh, heights in the atmosphere at 500 bit of hours, 18,000 feet. And those heights are important because we then extrapolate those heights into areas of high pressure and low pressure. So, where we've got these uh, positive heights, these above average heights indicated by the orange and red colours, that's where we'll have high pressure tend to be going on. Where we've got these below average heights, the blue colours, as uh, we can see here and here and over here as well that is where we tend to have low pressure and uh, those areas of high pressure low pressure what give us our weather is they're moved around by the jet stream uh, high pressure tends to give us settled weather low pressure tends to give us unsettled weather now for the last few weeks we've tended to be under these below average heights and that's what's been giving us all of the unsettled weather all of the rain through the course of april and much of may be cool wet weather has been brought about by low pressure but we can see that on this uh, height anomaly chart from the ECMWF we're under a big area of above average heights a big area of high pressure in eight to ten days time look at that the ex how extensive that uh, orange a red area is stretching all the way from the west of Russia right over out into the Atlantic and the core of that high pressure, the deepest of the red, is actually over the British Isles so that's indicating a very big area of high pressure setting up across the country. The uh, uh, lines here are indicating the jet stream and we can see that we are pushing the jet stream northwards these are coloured lines are showing that jet stream pushed off as, as, as I was explaining in the video on Tuesday it's really pushing these jet streams northwards that is the key to getting settled and summery weather because once we push the jet stream north in towards the North Pole we'll tend to set up an area of high pressure underneath it and because the jet stream has gone north we're on the warm side of the jet as well so once you get those jet streams northwards you get an area of high pressure building underneath and you usually are on the warm side of the jet stream as well so with, with the warm and the dry weather that is what tends to give us our summary weather so this is the ECMWF here let's have a look at the uh, high domini from the GFS and we see that it's a very similar picture actually we've got the big uh, area of uh, above average heights here around the northwest of Europe perhaps a little bit further north with this above ab with these above average heights actually um, so this is probably giving us a little bit more of an east or northeasty drift than the ECMWF uh, model in eight to ten days time but nevertheless we uh, are still very much seeing high pressure in command here the above average heights showing where that high pressure is going to be and yes as I say it is a little bit further north than the ECMWF but really that high pressure is very much in command have a look at the uh, GFS temperature ensemble and this is a little bit difficult to uh, explain but what you really need to know here with this is that all of these spikes here are indicating temperatures all of these lines I should say here are indicating temperature this red line is the average uh, temperature for the time of year this is actually upper air temperature but uh, it is useful for letting us know what's going to happen with our temperatures on the surface as well and uh, as I say these lines here are indicating where we've got uh, temperatures and we can see that the temperatures are going above average they're above the red line so we've got above average temperatures coming up and quite an extended run of above average temperatures actually these lines stay above that red line well on into running back all the way through the um, average uh, line as indicated by that white line there uh, goes above the uh, seasonal norm these spikes down here are indicating precipitation we've got a uh, quite a bit of precipitation coming up in the south over the weekend but once we get beyond that notice that the spike sees off so that's indicating uh, we're going drier next week and with the temperatures going above average we're going warmer as well this is the ensemble for London let's have a look at the ensemble for Aberdeen very similar situation at the moment we're below average across uh, Scotland but look how that uh, te those temperature lines push above average very uh, very uh, rapidly actually over the next two or three days and then we ex set up an extended run of above average temperatures through the course of next week again the red line here is the uh, average temperature for the time 
year where the uh, temperature should be on average at this time of year. We're going well above that average line, so the temperature's going above the seasonal norm. And again, notice the rainfall spikes are easing off, so we're going warmer and drier through the course of next week. And this is the uh, temperature anomaly chart uh, from the GFS. And we can see that, uh, well, we've still got a little bit of uh, cooler weather there across the country. Slightly, uh, our temperature's actually very much near normal. But we are seeing these uh, little pink uh, colours beginning to appear on the charts. And I think this uh, really is going to get uh, more above average as we go over the next couple of days. This is the anomaly for the week uh, coming up. So from today, Friday the 18th of May, to next Friday, Friday the 25th of May. Obviously, because it's still quite cool across the country just at the moment, uh, these temperatures are being held back a little bit, these colours. But I think over the next two or three days, as we lose this cooler weather that we're currently in, these uh, uh, pink colours will turn more towards deeper pinks and reds. We'll have a look at that in a day or two's time, because I think that will be showing uh, more above average temperatures uh, once we get through these next couple of days. These pink colours here and the darker colours uh, further over in towards Germany and Poland are the kind of temperatures we'll be seeing once we get to the next day or so out of the way. But precipitation, precipitation anomaly, well we've got above average, well, uh, we've got well below average precipitation there to the north, near normal precipitation further south but again I think over the next two or three days we will see these uh, red colours, uh, these pink and red colours intensifying as we start to see the anomaly going more and more uh, drier than average and warmer than average. Have a quick look at how it all works out in terms of the uh, temp uh, terms of the uh, weather chart. So we can see that uh, for Thursday, the 24th of May, from the GFS model, there's the high pressure, very much in command. That will be giving us uh, generally quite settled weather, I think, across many parts of the country, and uh, fairly uh, warmer weather as well. And once we get through to Saturday, the 26th of May, so this is 192 hours away, so it's a little way off. We do have to be a bit careful about this. We do see that high pressure very much taking over, and we're got more of an east to north east drift there going on as I said from the high zombie charts we were bringing in a little bit of an east or north easterly drift with the exact positioning of this high pressure so that just takes the top off temperatures a little bit but nevertheless this will be quite a bit warmer than we've been used to these are the upper air temperatures we can see but as we saw on the uh, uh, GFS Ensemble chart, but we are above average once we get through to the end of next week. Uh, the uh, 10 line is within, plus 10 line is within the uh, country, or I should say it's around the country, and that will be indicating quite warm upper air temperatures. So I think with this, we probably will be looking at temperatures into the high teens, low 20s across many parts of the country, so around the 70 Fahrenheit mark actually, and that's uh, shown up by the uh, temperature uh, prediction from that GFS for Friday next next Friday 25th of May temperatures there into the upper teens the low 20s 21 22 shoving up that is into the 70s Fahrenheit now the ECMWF is even better this is the ECMWF model and I've shown a big build of high pressure there once we get through to uh, Thursday the 24th of May going further on well look at that high pressure we've got by Saturday the 26th that's a big area of high pressure and it's a little bit further south than on the GFS so we haven't got that east or north easy flow so this is a warmer a warmer situation from the ECMWF uh, if this came I think we'll probably be looking at temperatures up into the low 20s by the, into the mid 20s I should say by the end of next week that's around 77 Fahrenheit that would be uh, very summery indeed lovely sunshine and very high, uh, very warm temperatures, uh, very nice indeed. A little bit of uncertainty though, but as I say, this is a little way off, and this morning's Canadian model, GM, just gives us a little pause for thought, because this wants to take the high pressure more towards Greenland there, setting up from Scandinavia to Greenland, and notice this low pressure running underneath it. If we go further on to Saturday the 25th of May, we can see that the low pressure is actually running into the country, and the high pressure is much further north going up towards Greenland. So this is a much more uh, unsettled situation, much more unsettled scenario than the GFS and the ECM. If this came off, we would be looking at cool temperatures and and or cooler temperatures I should say and some rain as well so that's just a little little fly in the ointment and it's a little reminder that this is all still a week away so uh, it's a little way off we do have to be careful 
that how seriously we take this if the Canadians write we won't be seeing a summer next week instead it will remain quite unsettled and cool I think really if we're going to go with the GFS and the ECM it is going to settle down and warm up next week but just at the back of our minds we have to keep the Canadian but uh, it may not quite come off so come back to our we'll doing the weekend forecast but as it stands at the moment it does look as though weather will be turning warmer and drier next week a taste of summer hopefully that's it for now